At the turn of the 19th century, the great Ohio Valley became the flashpoint in the conflict between American Indians and westward expansion. Accounts of Indian attacks, though often exaggerated, terrified white settlers. At the same time, the natives were rightfully outraged to see their land and their way of life literally going up in smoke. Beginning around 1808, a Shawnee chief named Tecumseh forged an alliance of Eastern Indian tribes to resist further white encroachment along the frontier. Tecumseh was assisted by his brother, a one-eyed religious leader known as the Prophet. Together, the two promoted a potent blend of tribal tradition and political unity that attracted thousands of followers. The brothers' chief nemesis was General William Henry Harrison, governor of the Indiana Territory. Harrison was determined, by whatever means necessary, to secure title to Indian lands to allow for American expansion. A series of diplomatic and military altercations between the parties during the early 1800s is known as Tecumseh's War. A climax to their conflict came in November 1811, when Harrison's U.S. Army forces marched on Tecumseh's headquarters at Prophetstown in present-day Indiana. In the Battle of Tippecanoe, Harrison's troops surrounded the settlement, defeated Tecumseh's men, and burned the village to the ground. Tecumseh was not involved in the battle, but in its aftermath, he and his followers allied themselves with the British and played a key role in the approaching War of 1812.